The journey to becoming a successful forex trader is a long and windy one. There is one thing that you can do to make sure you survive this game, and this is what 95% of the forex traders don't do. That's right traders, this video is going to kick off the money management playlist. This playlist will teach you how to make sure you're ahead of the majority of the traders, where you know how to manage your risk, and where you understand how to protect your hard-earned capital to make sure your trading account has enough funds to keep you going. Now most traders don't really care about this part of forex trading, because for some reason, money management is the boring part of trading. They rather focus on the technical stuff like chart analysis or trade entries. Bear in mind, when it comes to trading, money management is way more important than trade entries. Because the fact is, no matter how good your trade entries are, if your money management is poor, you just don't stand a chance. Also, when your trading account is gone, you've got no money left to trade. And that's game over. So, on this playlist, we're going to cover how much you should be risking for every single trade that you do. This amount is going to differ in terms of how much money you're risking, but in terms of percentage-wise, it's going to be the same. How many pips to risk? This will change all the time too. It depends on the currency pairs that you're trading or the time frame that you're trading with. I released a video revealing the best Forex indicator. You can check it out up here or in the description box below. This indicator will tell you how to manage your risk and where to place your stop loss. And when you finally enter a trade, what do you do? When do you exit? How do you actually manage your risk then? Managing a trade can mean whether you end up being profitable or not at the end of the day, or rather how much more profits you could have ended up with. Good traders have a system in place for this, and they know exactly what to do. We will cover this here as well. So let me run through why money management can save you in the long run. In trading, the outcome of every trade is random. So that means you will have clusters of winning trades and losing trades. You won't know when these are going to appear. It's almost like flipping a coin, where you get a bunch of random results of heads or tails, right? So let's just do two examples. Let's say you and I take the same trades. You risk 10% per trade, and I risk 1%. Where will our accounts be sitting at after three trades? Yours will be down 30% and mine will be down 3%. And if you think 30% is peanuts, wait till I show you the next slide. This chart here shows the percentage of gain required to break even at a different level of losses. And if you're sitting at 30%, look here, you now need to gain just over 40% to break even. That's crazy. And all you need to do is beat this guy, the world's greatest investor, to do that. Imagine the pressure. The worst is, many traders will double down and take even bigger position sizes to try and make up for the losses. And most of them end up blowing their accounts. So conclusion, start to take money management seriously. Know that you just won't get far without it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing more videos on this playlist to help you structure your money management properly and to ensure you get every chance of survival in this game. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Happy trading!